Now, the West Indies will look to break their longest ever winless run in a one-day international series when they take on Bangladesh in the deciding match at Warner Park at the Warner Park Sports Complex in St. Kitts tomorrow. Daniel Blake has our preview. Have not won an ODI series since beating Bangladesh 3-0 in 2014, a run of 11 series without a win. However, Warner Park could be the venue to break that run. The Caribbean side have won four of their last six games at Warner Park, including victories over Australia, New Zealand and even Bangladesh. The last time the two teams met in St. Kitts in a 50-over game, the Caribbean side recorded a 91-run win. On that day, only four batsmen got into double figures for the Windies in their score of 338 for 7, including Darren Bravo's 124 and Dinesh Ramdin's 169. However, none of the four will feature come Saturday. But if the West Indies have anything to draw on, it would be the fact that Shimron Hetmeyer looks in good form, scoring 177 runs from two innings. The concern, however, is that the young Guyanese has scored more runs than the other four of the top five batsmen combined. Openers Evan Lewis and Chris Gale have scored a combined 98 runs, with Shea Hope not offering much to the team either. But in all fairness, the Providence pitch has not been the easiest place to score. Warner Park, though, is expected to have pace and bounce, which could suit the Windies batsmen. But cricket is about bat and ball. And if one thinks there are concerns about the West Indies batting, then the region might go into shock over the output of the bowlers so far. In two games, the Windies bowlers have accounted for just nine Bangladeshi wickets, with Devendra Bishu the most successful with three. In comparison, Mushrafi Mortaza and Mustafa Zia Rahman have accounted for nine Caribbean batsmen. As it relates to the possible 11s for Saturday, Sabir Rahman is the only questionable position in the Bangladesh side, having so far made just 15 runs. But the reserve batsmen Nazmul Hussein Shanto and Litton Das are not seen as middle order finishers, so he's expected to keep his place. For the West Indies, they will once again be without Andre Russell, who has a knee injury. Jamaican Sheldon Cottrell has been called in, adding more firepower to the Windies fast bowling lineup. Should the selectors go with the left handed Jamaican, it could mean a straight swap for Kimo Paul or even the possibility of playing the extra fast bowler in place of Ashley Nurse or Devendra Bishu. Saturday's match bowls off at 8.30 a.m. Jamaica time.